Hello wonderful people, welcome back to the channel, The Poultry Farm. My name is Mr. Echo, and that is it. I would love to thank all the subscribers so far, and also encourage those who have not subscribed to subscribe. Because actually, this is where we get the most relevant poultry information. Without wasting my time, let's get straight to business today. Today we're going to talk about how to make profit in poultry farming. How to make profit in poultry farming. There are two ways to make profit in poultry farming. That's the laying production profit and the post-production profit. The laying production profit is actually when your beds are laying, you need to make money. And after your beds are finished laying, you need to make money. So, let me start with the laying production profit. Basically, every farmer raised the chicken from day one to the very week that they start to lay. The moment they begin to lay, it simply tells you that you've transformed the chickens into a laying machine. So now that you have a laying machine and egg machines, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use the, what you put in, you must get what you put in out with profit. That's gonna be the trick. So. When you invest one bag of feed, which is costing 400 cities, you must know that you must get more than 400 cities. And the rest is going to be minus expenses, your what? Your net profits. So when I invest one bag of feed, which is costing 400 cities, and I get 600 cities, it tells me that I have made profit. That's the gross profit. 200 cities so the more i feed them the more i get more gross profit of 200 cities that will subsidize my utilities so the laying production stage profit is all about you making sure that the feed that you are consuming you are getting more than what they are consuming because the moment you don't get what they are consuming and in excess then you are making some losses indirectly because at the moment you wouldn't see but after the production you realize that you had nothing so basically that's how the main production profit is being made so it's all about making sure that your feed cost you are going to get more than that in the egg production and as it stands, most farmers ask that I have so much chickens and I need to buy like let's say 50 bucks in one week and the eggs that they are giving me is too low and when I calculate the number of eggs that I sell in a week I need to sometimes go for some funds elsewhere to come and subsidize in purchasing that bags again because I'm giving them the required what, amount of feed let me tell you one thing you see i have i have said this in my previous videos that it is not the number of chickens that you have that is going to make you profitable no it is not the number of chicken that you have that's going to make you profitable it is the number of eggs that you collect so somebody can have 500 beds somebody can have a thousand beds and somebody collect with 500 bears will be making more profit than the one with 1,000 bears. So it is about the number of eggs that you collect. So as a farmer, in order to make profit, you must be more focused on your production as in the number of eggs that you collect and not the number of bears that you have. So whenever you see your x decline it gives you that indication that you need to work something out to improve your what your laying percentage so when the laying percentage is in 75 85 90 you know that definitely you're making profit but when your percentage is actually at 55 65 then you know that there's a problem 
So whenever you, you have like a thousand beds and you're having just 60%, remember that the 60% taking care of the 40% is going to close you in. It's going to close you in as time goes on. You can't actually provide for them moving moving forward. So in order to make profit, you must make sure that you pay attention to your feed cost. Make sure you are getting more than the cost that you spend on feed. More than that, in essence. And make sure that your lane percentage is high above 75 above 75 because when it is around 75 you know you are getting the cushioning that's how you you are assured that you're making profit but when your percentage is below 50, 55, you know that it is all going back into the chicken production. And you're getting nothing at the end of the cycle. Two, talk about the post production profit. You know, whenever you, you begin to raise chicken, you must understand that every cost that you actually bear in raising the chicken from day one to the laying stage must be proper documented that's why i have given the opportunity to have this software on your farm so that it can help you track how much you've spent in the chicken so far so that when it gets to the post-production profit you understand that my bears are old i want to sell them but actually when i go back and i check the amount of money that i spent in raising them from day one to day to week 24 I realized that I spent 6,000 cities on let's say the hundred chickens in raising them from day one to day to week 24 I realized that I spent 6,000 Ghana cities therefore you know you have to consider mortality and all that so you presume that you're going to sell let's say 90 of the 100 chickens so it's going to be 6,000 divided by 90 and you're going to see how much one bed is costing at that moment how much one bed will cost at that moment so you realize let's say let's say for example because I'm not doing this I'm just mad <laughs> so one is costing 65 cities one is costing 65 cities so when one bed is costing 65 cities then you ask yourself that when you sell each bed for 65 cities you're going to make your 6,000 cities but what are you getting as profit then you add a margin let's say i want 10 10 cities on that on on, on that on each one so you add 10 cd each which is bigger than 75 cities therefore when you sell 75 cities per bed you actually going to understand that you're making a profit of 10 cities which gives you room for profit so you realize that 10 cd by the 90 is 900 cities so you're going to get your production cost money and a profit of 900 extra 900 cities after collecting all the eggs in the same cycle so you realize that so you basically understand that you are getting extra profits for that so after collecting all the eggs in the laying production cycle and making extra profits on each egg that you sell you're going to make another profit on each bed that you sell isn't that amazing so this is how we actually make profit in the laying production my name is Marcel Cole like subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend that this is where we share all the most relevant poultry information Peace.